Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. Friday alone, so far, has been filled with drama when it comes down to crime and violence, murder and bloodshed. Now, Friday alone, as I said before, was filled with drama. And one wonders if the security forces can really manage the crime in this country because all I see is that gunmen are getting out of hand, they are doing as they please, they are robbing, they are shooting and injuring and they are killing victims my viewers and my subscribers. And the government of Jamaica are focused on other areas where it makes no sense and the prime objective is to reduce the crime in this country and their failing. Now Greenwich Farm alone has been tense from last week following the killing of known violence producer who is Dada. Now Dada was shot and killed by gunmen on the North South Highway. We talk about two vehicles, three vehicles to be exact, two shooting after another. And Dada was the only person who succumbed to his injuries. Other persons in that car were seriously shot and injured, including a soldier in the vehicle, my viewers and my subscribers. Now, based on information, Dada and men in Orchards had an argument when they trailed Dada on the highway and bullets were heard firing in the car that Dada was in. That car crashed and Dada succumbed to his injuries in that vehicle. Now, persons in Greenwich Farm believe that Dada was set up by rivals who have linkage in Ocherius and that's why Dada was murdered. While some other person believe that his friends set up his murder from linkage that they have in Ocherius. Now, ever since that, Greenwich Farm, Top Greenwich Farm, Bottom Greenwich Farm, 7th Street, 3rd Street, 9th Street has been tense leading up to last night following the JDF and the JCF patrolling on 3rd Street in Greenwich Farm and that security unit came under heavy gunfire by gunmen. Those police and JDF soldiers returned fire, it's been that one gunman was killed and an officer injured and sent to hospital. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, what is going on in Greenwich Farm to be exact is a big tension that has been boiling for a long time between Smokey Joe badness, Redman badness, your friends who are aligned to Dada and they want revenge and other factions. Basically 7th Street, 9th Street, 3rd Street, other areas in Greenwich Farm. Now Dada was no angel. He was no choir boy, he was no pastor. He was a big violence producer where a lot of victims died under his hand. And what he did, he bragged to women and his rivals and friends about taking the life of rivals, family members. We talk about victims from Augustown, from Greenwich Farm and also Portmore to be exact, my viewers and my subscribers. But his luck ran out when he was murdered on the North South Highway last week, Sunday, while coming back from St. Anne heading towards St. Catherine. Now, these are controversial figures who are being highlighted in the community by rivals and they believe to be violence producers as well and their rivals want them out. The on the screen right now is Skeller who is from Greenwich Farm and right now my viewers and my subscribers, members who are aligned to Redman, Badness wants him dead. Now on the screen right now, the other figure to be exact from Greenwich Farm who is the brother of Dada who them call Howie. Now Howie is hated by rivals because of his brother and rivals want him out as well 
I'm talking from members of the faction who are led by Evil Boss. On the screen right now is the next figure, my viewers and my subscribers, known as Robin, who is from Greenwich Farm, and his rivals, who are from the Smoky Joe faction, wants him dead. On the screen right now is a man known as Tavi, who is from Greenwich Farm. And right now, to be exact, my viewers and my subscribers, rivals want him head. When I say rivals, I mean members from the Smokey Joe faction in Greenwich Farm. And I must give credit to Augustone876 on IG. Now, they have been active on this matter, which is taking place in Greenwich Farm. Even though this is not the pseudo page or official page of Greenwich Farm, but because of Dada's influence in Augustown, you know, they might get the scoop. So big respect to them. Now, I said before, Dada was no angel. He was a known violence producer. And a controversial figure is in prison right now who them call Momo. Now Dada has taken out few members members of Momo and that kind of really spark the whole vibe now Greenwich Farm is about to be lit on fire because it only takes one fire to be lit and then the whole place blow up in smoke vital areas only start from one conflict and then the whole different streets in a era or neighborhood start war that is how the ghetto is you now no streets left untouched you're not man have a problem you know and you draw in other persons from different street into the war and it becomes out of control and you know what my viewers and my subscribers innocent persons lives are taken yes criminals now kill criminals you know they bury their kill each other. A residents in the committee who are innocent, five members who are lying to rivals, are men who are violence producers get really killed. But the men with the guns, they might escape. Oh, this is a question for persons who are going to watch this video and comment below. And please give me your opinion. Do you think that the government of Jamaica, which are a party in power, really care about solving crime in this country? Do you think? There's an urgency to solve crime and bloodshed in this country. Do you think the police are not doing effective work when it comes down to tackling these violence producers and getting rid of them, whether by will or by force? Because I think and I believe that the government of Jamaica, whether PNP or JLP, they are not really focused on fixing the crime in this country because guess what? There's no money going into their pockets when it comes on to fixing murder and bloodshed. Listen, crime can be fixed in this country. Don't let anyone tell you that it cannot be fixed. But because there's no money being made from solving crime in this country, that is why the government of Jamaica neglect it. You see, you know, that the government of Jamaica have been making a lot of money so far from the new traffic act because it made the money in their pocket. Basically, those fines, those tickets are going into the government pockets. The money are going to the government system and they are making money from pressuring motorists. And most motorists are poor people. The JDF, the JCF are playing than the Shandy with the bloodshed and murder in this country. And if you think and believe that the government of Jamaica with a PMP or JLP care about solving crime in this country, then you are fooling yourself. They care nothing about you. They only do things that interest them. They only do things that ensure that they get results when it comes down to financial benefits. This is Jay Crazy News once again. Until then, bless up.
Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements as well J Crazy not play with him and review the thing then J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements as well J Crazy not play with him and review the thing then Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy